And this pandemic has parents making all sorts of changes to make sure that their kids are learning. KLBK's Brenda Lipinski spoke with a local child care facility that's incorporated a virtual learning classroom. Now, Brenda, how is this option different from face to face instruction at school? Well, it's just like any other classroom, except everyone is working on their own lesson plan. They take the daycare I spoke to says they don't have an overwhelming number of kids, which is good, especially if you're a parent who works, who can't be there for your child. Of course, it is a viable option. So we're doing doubles again. So you've got four plus five equals what? Seven-year-old Brinley Casillas is learning math virtually from her teacher, Miss Castellanos, at her daycare. Her virtual classroom is a concept her mother, Jessie, the owner of the daycare, knew they had to incorporate due to the pandemic. My daughter, she has a severe asthma problem and she has some health concerns. She was hospitalized before, so I didn't want to throw her into something that could potentially be harmful for her health. The virtual learning program here has been tremendously helpful from a parent side because if I was at home with my daughter, they would just be conflict back and forth because mom trying to teach daughter and then just attitude and arguing. And Ms. Castellanos agrees, saying having a teacher present for virtual learning has been helpful for her students. Being at home is great because they're safe, but having a teacher that can show them and I guess teach them instead of just like reading off the screen and giving them the examples, they might not learn as much. And Brinley admits virtual learning has been a bit of a learning curve for her. When the coronavirus just started, um, I had, Mama had a computer that she worked and I was watching her fingers. So I learned how to work that before I worked um, on the computer. But no matter how your child is learning virtually, Ms. Castellanos has some advice. Be patient. Like, even if it's easy to you, it's probably not easy to them like break it down, take breaks, like they can't sit in front of the computer all day long. And if you're looking for a child care provider that is certified, you can visit the Texas Health and Human Services page at TexasTXChildCareSearch.org. Terry? All right, thanks, Brenda.